Hey there guys, what's up? It's your boy Perks of 12 back with another YouTube video for you guys on the channel. In today's video, we are going to be going through some of the new WWE Supercard Season 9 news that WWE Supercard just tweeted on Twitter. So without further ado, let's just get right into the video. Right then guys, welcome back to the video. As you guys can see, Season 9 announcement, November 3rd. That was done tonight. So, a new season is on the horizon. Supercard Season 9 launches this November across the internet-enabled telephones and many of your other favorite devices. That includes, obviously, the Android emulators that we all love to use. Let it be LD Player, Bluestacks, or big knocks we've got some really great new features coming that will introduce new ways to play and we've got some new card types that we think will mix up the action in fun ways too so i'm excited for season nine like you guys know i will be back for season nine with the streams i know you guys have missed them i'm actually not sorry about it because obviously fifa has been really fun for me as you guys know i've been uploading a bit of that but let's concentrate on this so here's a quick breakdown of what's coming at launch so come november the 16th, I believe it is noted down in the calendar in Supercard. This will be at launch. So, DLC, Table Lads and Chairs, a new asynchronous mode where you and the foe take turns guessing where each other's have hidden their tables, ladders, and chairs on a grid. Okay, very interesting. That's I want to know more about that because obviously I don't have a full idea of how that's going to run down right now, but I'm very intrigued. Next one is announcer cards. Right, so you guys all know the announcers in the WWE most famous one being Michael Cole and Pat McAfee, in my opinion. Smart. You guys know it. Let's get it. Anyhow, announcer cards. New item for your collection. Announcer cards can be equipped and will occasionally praise you as you play in ring. You'll see your announcer sitting behind the desk. Guys, that's dope as fuck. I can't believe this. This is going to be sick. You're going to have to be like, oh my God, Brock Lesnar with the F5. Stone Cold Stunner. Spear. Shit like that. Coming into Supercard. I love it makes it more hype makes it actually worthwhile having game sound on as well because i know a lot of us have it off and just play music because obviously game sound is just like the ding 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 and then you get a couple grunts when the cards hit each other but now this is gonna give us a feature where it's actually worthwhile us having our game sound on which is very very good and you got the champs boost plus We're adding support to acknowledge undisputed champions are also adding additional support for many other belts so undisputed champions here we go got the tags the Usos, you got Roman as well. So that's going to be interesting. Let me know if there's any others that I've missed out in the comments. I'll get to those. Special equipment. These are talent specific equipments that give big boosts to selected stats. Think of it as a new way to personalize your cards further. Awesome. Again, at launch, we're going to have specialized equipment for our cards. Can't wait for that. Maybe we'll get two equipment slots now instead of just the one. Who knows? Chat tools. Now that we think about it, it's kind of weird that you've never been able to enter into a friendly match of Supercard against a friend or foe. But you'll be able to in Season 9 with chat duels. This is a feature for Watch Party specifically, enabling you to challenge people to a best of three style match. Very, very good. I like that. Like that a lot. Then, three new tiers with a twist. You're going to love these cards and the way stats slide in and out from the panel on the side. Interesting. So is this going to be like an NBA supercard type uh, card style where you can fold it in and it gets rid of the stats? So it makes the card design look cleaner? I don't know. Let me know in the comments what you guys think of this. While last season's focus on creating additional opportunity to experience supercard together, season 9's focus is going to be back to where it all started many seasons ago. Supercard as a hobby. That sounds like season 1 and season 2 to me, baby. That's looking good. The long-term vision of ours to create a game that you can play whenever you want and however you want. Having diverse modes, an incredible amount of collectible content, and robust reward system that support all types of schedules are all vital to keep this vision going. This is why Season 9 is adding value to the card collecting aspect, as this is also why we're going to launch with a totally new asynchronous mode, allowing you to compete for rewards even when your foe isn't online. In December, we're also debuting a more solo-ish endeavor called Your House that allowed you to compete day by day as the holiday season progresses. See, that sounds really, really good. As you all know, I'm a big fan of PCC. Just bring it back. Do it, Cat Daddy. Just do it for us, man. I'd love that. You guys know I'd love that. I think it's not... I'm speaking for a big majority of the Supercard community here when I say PCC needs to be brought back. Urgh, urgently, please. It's also important for us to talk about how we'll be looking backwards in Season 9 as that's growing more crucial over time. Turns out when you make new stuff, your older stuff automatically feels older. You knew. You spent a lot of time with us in Season 8 giving us feedback on what you want to see from the game, especially from our older modes. Throughout Season 9, we'll be making changes to content based on that feedback. Retuning big pieces of the game to bring it more in line with modern Supercard. Here's what we're knocking 
out first. Oh, not at launch. True battle pass. That's going to be interesting because we've had the super pass very, very often, the super card, and it's done well. Like the reward based system on that, okay, you pay a tenner for it. And then you just grind your way up and up and up. And it gives you decent rewards. Even for lower tier players, higher tier cards. Very, very good. I like that. We've tried to tweak Super Pass in a way to get the best of both worlds. But it's clear that you want an actual Battle Pass. So I think this is going to be something which is going to be like a Fortnite-ish Battle Pass. Where you pay a tenner and you've got the whole season to grind it. Obviously, the season has got is on a timer. So it's, it'll probably be like a... Maybe a 30-day mode-ish, we'll see. Where it gives you 30 days to just grind it so you're not restricted on a on a mad, mad time frame, on a mad, like, short one. But you've got a decent amount of time to just complete and rattle through it. Redefining PvP and teams via work on their modes. We believe that teams should offer more passive benefits, and we're exploring that. We're exploring changes to War 2. Interesting. A team PvP mode? That would be quite cool. Maybe it gives you an opportunity to be more competitive in a team, and challenging your teammates properly in a PvP mode. Who knows? That'd be pretty cool. Hard stat bans. Some of our new friends are finding it hard to see what stats are better, especially in modes like Survivor. We're going to widen stat bans and make it clearer. I like that. And in my opinion, please get rid of the techniques in Survivors. They do hinder us quite a lot. Reimagining collecting sets. We want to make collecting more intentional as opposed to just random chance collection. But I'm thinking about when they say that, I'm thinking about the stars. You guys know you got like the every time you get a new card, it gives you a new star. That maybe gives uh, what I'm thinking of maybe like like a like a collector's book, like a binder where you can actually see. I know we've got that now with the catalog, but maybe just a little bit more graphically better. I don't know. I may be going on a on a mad rant here and not making sense, but hopefully you guys understand what I'm on about with that. We can tune in or possibly even rethinking fusions and fusion promos. A lot has changed since ye old fusion chamber was first introduced and we hear your feedback. That'd be very cool. Make fusion shorter, not like a week where I have to wait for an arcane fusion. That'd be great. More UI UX. So UI is a user interface and UX is user experience. Just in case you guys didn't know that. Investment on the HUD. It's been a minute since we've made updates on the way our in-game user interface UI looks and works. We're trying something in 2023. So that'll be next year. And we'll want to know what you think. Your feedback on this after it debuts will inform plans across season nine that's very very cool and it just ends by saying and this is just a list of what we prioritize for the early season we're going to be looking at every mode and event and even taking a, a look at cards we will also make shorter term fixes while we work on the bigger ones for example we're going to take a pass on pvp momentum point and payouts at season launch to provide some relief for an obviously troublesome area of the game some of this will also come via subtraction which is going to sound funny at first, but stick with us on this one. It was clear to us from reading feedback, for example, that Pack Battle and Chart Topper don't occupy unique spaces in the game. So they've been officially removed. Okay, so Pack Battle and Chart Topper are gone, completely gone. They've been, they've been nuked, they've done. Out of the game forever. Well, I don't want to say forever. They might make a comeback at some point, but it sounds like for season nine, they won't be in there. I, I, I personally never really enjoyed Chart Topper, so I'm glad they got rid of it. But let me know what you guys think of that one in the comments. Their consideration for Supercard Hall of Fame, however, is unknown. There's obviously a lot more going on in the future. Supercard Season 10 is going to be a fantastic moment for the game, and we hope you enjoy build up for it during season nine. Prepare for another great season and more information to come on features like TLC, announcer cards, and much more. Thanks for reading. Thanks for reading. WWE Supercard. So I know this has been a lot of information to digest and I've hopefully done it in a way where you guys can understand it quite well. Obviously, let me know if this has been an all right video in the comments. I do try to make the best uh, videos possible when, when it comes to Supercard and generally videos on my channel. So it would help if you guys could give me some good constructive feedback on this. I would really appreciate it. But like I said, if you guys have liked this video, please hit the like button, subscribe if you already. I'll see you guys in my next one very, very soon. Have fun, grind the Supercard, see you in season nine on Twitch. Bye.